<laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> All right. We should be live here on the, they call this the interwebs, the Inter internet, the place in which we can all converge under one digital what? illusion of a roof. <laughs> hey, so say your last name for me, man. Camo. 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 Yeah. Camo. Hey, yo. Come hey, here. Camo. Camo. <laughs> Camo. <laughs> Dan Camo, so you are uh, in affiliate marketing. How old are you? How old are you, man? I'm 30. 30 years old. You look 20. I know. <laughs> baby, baby face. I'm a baby face killer. And my, my girlfriend, my girlfriend, I'm, I'm going to make sure to say this. I actually made a post on my Facebook about it. Uh, my girlfriend is 30 years older than me. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Age very gap relationships. Yeah, I mean, I have a mature, mature lady, and I love her. If it wouldn't be for her, man, I wouldn't be consistent in a lot of things. She cracks the whip. Layeth the smack it down, the if you will. Down. Yeah. <laughs> so Dan here doesn't watch TV. I just discovered that I uh, am a uh, television movie connoisseur because I love archetypal stories and whatnot but what's your uh what's your deal with that why don't you watch tv what's your uh mindset on that honestly um i just find it's like like especially with this whole covid thing when this happened like everybody i used to watch tv like i used to watch netflix and stuff like that and i just found myself like getting too into it you know like you can't just watch one episode like they always say, oh yeah i'm just gonna watch one one episode it's like eating a bag of lace chips Okay, they always say, I bet you can't eat just one. Well, I bet you can't watch just one. And and like, I got myself into like a, a place that I was like depressed because all I was doing was literally sitting there watching TV, watching Netflix and chilling like they tell you. And uh, when, when this whole COVID thing happened, I was just like, all right, like I'm not going to watch TV. I'm going to focus all my time online. Um, and that's what I did. And literally like, I just went from like here and it just kind of started going up like pretty quickly. Um, so I was like, I'm so, I'm so happy that I, that I made that choice. I was just like, cause I kept hearing all the time, like just take consistent action, take all the stuff that's taking you away from what you want to focus on and just push it aside. And just, you know, like even my friends, like friends and family, like I didn't talk to friends and family. Um, I have my inner circle of people that I associate with all the time, like that we talk online and, and that we network together. Um, but we help each other grow. But anybody that didn't have anything to do with what I was doing, um, I just set them aside and I told them, I said, look, I'm going to set you guys aside for a while just so that I can focus on, on what I'm doing. And then when I'm comfortable at where I'm at and my mindset's right, um, then we can start communicating again kind of thing. Like if you fit in the picture when that time happens. Absolutely. So, uh, so Dan, you reached out to me on Facebook. You just hit me up PM yeah. reaching out. Now, a lot of people do that. I actually encourage uh, some of my copywriting students to, you know, write something, hit people up, you know, but don't sell, you know, try to make a connection first. And, and, you know, like one of the things that, uh, hit me when you reached out was, oh, this is a kind of cool, goofy dude. What's this, you know, it's like, I'm always kind of curious, like, what the fuck are you uh, doing? Like, what's going on? What's the, what's the deal here? My curiosity gets triggered. And yeah. then we start having some conversation in, uh, you know, not just a cool dude, but you actually know what you're talking about. And as we were uh, going live here, one of the things that you said that uh, really hit me, which is something that I always make it a point to do is any, if I'm going to sell something, I want to try it. I want to feel it. I want to see how it works. I want to yeah. be able to have my own personal experience with it. And that's something that you do. So in affiliate marketing, you, you said you mentioned that you are going after more high ticket items and that Clickbank was kind of you know jacking you off a little bit tell, tell me a little bit about that so like <clears throat> well I made okay so I, I made a I, I jumped in this program called EPP easy profile profits and it's like they show you how to turn your Facebook profile into to get massive leads massive engagement and like you, you turn that into profits because you promote their, their they have a low ticket item. And then, so what I did is that I, I, it was $97 for that. I jumped in it and then I used the methods that they teach us in that program. And I, and I used it to promote ClickBank products as well. Right. So 
I made four thousand dollars USD my first week. Okay, like in my first four days. Um, and I was all like organic, no paid ads at all, not zero ad spend, no nothing, just just reaching out with the methods that they taught me in in the Easy Profile Profits. Now it's like when I'm getting paid by ClickBank, you know, it's like I gotta wait. That's the only thing that I hate. Like Easy Profile Profits, when you get paid from their high ticket item, it's like within the first 24 hours, it gets directly de deposited to your PayPal. But then with this, with the ClickBank, it's like okay, I made that much money, but then I have to wait. And then I had my bank information put on there. Everything was fine. Um, they had sent me a deposit. Like this was before this. Um, I had made a couple of bucks, like probably 500 bucks or something like that. Like before um, I actually jumped in this program and it, and it went through, like it actually went through to my, to my bank account. And then for some reason, ClickBank sends me an email like a day after. And they were just like, yeah, your information, you need to put your information back in. And I'm like, well, why? You know what I mean? Like, why is that happening? Like that shouldn't happen. It was already there. It was fine. Like, I don't need, why should I have to verify it again? And then they're just like, Oh, well, that's just, that's just what it is. Like you have to do this. So I was just like, well, okay. I put the same exact information. Right. And then I waited, I, I wasn't really doing much. And then when, when all this happened that I made this money, it was just like, all right, yes, I, I'm expecting this money. Like, you know I mean? This is changing my life. Like literally it changed my life like pretty quickly. Um, went from, you know, working a nine to five job that I was making not even 2000 bucks a month because I was paying too much in taxes. And then from making 4,000 in one week, and then I have to wait to get my money. It was like, are you fucking kidding me right now? You know what I mean? <laughs> so then I was just like, okay, that's fine. I'm going to wait a week. But then when the week came, it said threshold. And I was like, come on, like what's, what's going on? So I messaged them and they're like, okay, you're going to have to wait another week if you change your, if you change your information, you're going to have to wait another week. So I did that. And I waited the other week and then same thing happened. They didn't accept it. They didn't accept my, my pants. So I was like, well, what the heck? So now I'm just waiting for checks <laughs> through the mail, which I'm Canadian. So if I, if I deposit a check here at the bank, they want like quite a, they, they want quite a bit of money, like for the exchange rate or whatever, like mm. you have to pay them a pretty big percentage. And then I, there's like a, a Western union or whatever, like a cash money place it's called that they do that too. They want 40%. Wow. I was like, are you guys fucking nuts? I said, I'm not giving you 40% of my money for, for, for you guys to exchange it. So then I went through the process. I got myself an American uh, Royal bank card, like a, a, for an account for Royal bank. So like now I'm just waiting for that bank card. Cause my, my wife has one or whatever, like she has, um, she had one. So I just got one under like a, a joint account or whatever. And uh, I deposited it, same thing, took a picture of my check and then I deposited and I had to wait two weeks. Mm -hmm. After already waiting like a month and a half to get a check, I was like, come on. <laughs> yeah, I, I've had issues with ClickBank as well. I've had issues with ClickBank both as a, a vendor trying to get a product and I never even got my product live. I actually just gave up because of uh, dealing with a lot of what you talked about, having to re-input information um the direct deposit wasn't working and i and i just uh, as i i don't have the time for this so either i need to pay a va to deal with this or just not deal with it which exactly. by the way i desperately need to get a va or two <laughs> i don't know if you have one but <laughs> uh, yeah I, I know i know somebody that has uh he, he's he's pretty well connected with with stuff like that and he's found some pretty good ones so um he has a big instagram he, he does pretty big things with instagram like on instagram growth um yeah. edward soto edward soto shout out to him um he's one of my friends from uh from calgary like he, he he's doing pretty good things and uh for instagram and he he literally had to get vas because it was just too much he just couldn't handle it no more I calgary mean, alberta canada brett canada. hart country yep <laughs> yeah. he's so, awesome that, yeah that it, it in <clears throat> being able to uh I, I'm, I'm working with uh one of my students, he has a, a, a client that we, uh, that's in the VA that teaches entrepreneurs how to hire and then train VAs. And there's actually like, we dubbed it the VA gene. There's a, a certain in three different testing systems or the this testing system, uh, personality typing system specifically. There's a, a, a very specific VA gene and getting that person who's gonna, you know, be able to get cloned and, you know, be an extension of you without, you know, like trying to take your business over, be a dick or, you know, 
fight you on everything. Oh, you should do it this way. Yeah, right. I'm the one that's paying you, bitch. So you've got uh, you've you've built this affiliate business that you you've been working on pretty quickly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right now, there's, I mean, easily millions of people who are living off of unemployment, who are uh, maybe just going back to work, but still not making nearly enough money. I work with a lot of copywriters, a lot of digital markers, a lot of people in the internet, on the internet scene yeah. that could absolutely use a side supplemental hustle. income. Yeah, side yeah. hustle. There you go. Yeah. So what do you do? How, how did you do it? What was the journey? What's the process? So like, um, I actually, I'm going to tell, I did the whole digital marketing thing for a little bit, like going to like Ty Lopez and them, shout out to Ty Lopez and them, but like them saying about how like, you know, you could, they, they want to pay you, like these businesses want to pay you a thousand dollars to run ads for them and blah, 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 and all that jazz. And no, <laughs> you know what I mean? Unless you actually have experience, like most businesses are going to look at you like, I mean, okay, so if I come to you, you don't know me. If I come to you, like if I would have sent you that message and been like, hey man, I'm going to charge you a thousand dollars to run your ads. Uh, I, can, I can guarantee show you whatever, like I can do this, I can do this, I can do that. And then you go look at my profile and I have like zero engagement, zero anything. You're going to be like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, and there's very few people that have the ability to do that. There's this one kid on Instagram, Sam Lister. <clears throat> uh, he does video uh, marketing production. And I was really impressed with how he reached out. Uh, his LinkedIn profile is... Uh, dynamic alive and hot uh he's getting a lot of positive interaction with people like you can genuinely tell yeah. he is interested in helping and not just making money yeah. developing relationships and it, it you know he did it well he did it in a very clean way you know you can feel people's intention when they reach out you can feel i need this from you or hey i, I i'm genuinely interested in who you are and uh that's why i reached out yeah uh, and and giving that personal touch so a lot of you know a, a, a lot of uh, copywriters the copywriters in this group need to make extra money because you know they get caught in the feast or famine cycle oh i got a hot client three months later where's work i'm gonna starve so that yeah. side hustle can be that income that gives what uh, a lot of copywriters need which is what i call fuck you money it's true so because you don't want to work with somebody and sell a shitty fucking product or service uh just because you need the money yeah. it, it's it, i mean it, it's it's a it's a internet form of working prostitution my, my so, favorite saying my favorite saying is actually like chase purpose don't chase commas you know the commas will come with the purpose like i i don't do this and honestly that like i used to do things for money and, and it brought me money but then it, it's, it, it was gone. You know what I mean? It just never, it never like stayed around. Like, you know what I mean? It was just wasted. And when I actually shifted my mindset to like chasing purpose rather than chasing money, like how many people can I help today? You know, how many people can I change their life? How many, how many, like, okay, this person, like I literally go in groups and go look for people's problems. And even if I don't know the answer, I will literally take the time and I'll Google it or I'll YouTube it. And then I'll go back and I'll answer that question for them not expecting anything in return, just being valuable, like just giving valuable um, information to people that they need if they can't find the answer themselves or if they don't know how to answer themselves. You know what I mean? Like that's one of the yep. things that I do. And when it comes to affiliate marketing, um, the be like what I did, I'm just going to say, t like tell you how I did it. So I, I paid $97 for, for this program called Easy Profile Profits. Um, I set it up. It took me like a day, not even a day. Uh, it's just like nine or 10 videos. Um, explaining how to set up your, your Facebook profile uh, to look like mine. I mean, you guys can go check out my Facebook profile. You can see how it's all pretty well put together. Absolutely. Um, and, and I started with um, literally, I had 10 followers um, like maybe a month ago and I'm almost at a thousand now, like 700 and something, I think, or something like that. So this is like, like it's been growing and, and I have no paid ads or nothing. So the methods they do teach you in this does work. Um, I had a, I had a guy that actually one of my students now, um, he, he's from Kenya. Okay. So he reached out to me. He's like, how can I start? How can I start this journey or whatever? Like, how, how can I do this? I want to do what you're doing. So, um, he of didn't course. have, he didn't have, yeah, he didn't have the money, uh, right away. So 
like I told him straight up, I was like, look, man, like I'm, and he never asked me for money. I do get a lot of people that ask me for money, but it's like, I will teach you, you know, like, te- okay, give a man a fish, feed him for a day, give, you know, teach a man a fish, feed him for a lifetime. Well, literally this guy took that to heart. Like I told him that, and he took that to heart and he came back to me the next day. We jumped on another zoom and uh, he, but he purchased the EPP within a week. He made 10 sales and 10 sales at $50 USD per sale in Kenya. That changed his life. Like literally that, that them, them 10 sales, man. Like I, I get cold chills thinking about it. Cause he called me crying. He was like, dude, I, I don't know how to thank you. Like, this is like, you literally changed my life. He's like, man, like I, I'm so grateful to you. Like I, I, I'll, anything you ever want anything. And it's like, I don't want anything. Like I just want you to succeed. And he, his, even his engagement, like his engagement on Facebook went from like a couple to like over 200 in a matter of weeks, you know, just from listening to what I told him how to do it. Mm. And it's when he called me and he said, like, he's like, man, like, he's like, I literally just have, I just made enough money to feed my family for the next year. That's, that's absolutely amazing. And he did that in how much time? In a week. He did it in a week. Okay. One week. So nobody has excuses on it's not doable. It's not going to work for me. It's not going to, I live here. It's not going to work for this guy's in Kenya. Okay. Like that it's Kenya. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, you know, what, what, what's amazing about what you're talking about. I had a conversation with a couple copywriters yesterday about posting, about being in, in high value groups mm -hmm. around high value people. Yeah. Because, you know, like what you were talking about earlier, the people that you associate, the people you are around, the people you network with, the people you collaborate with, the people you communicate with, they could be a reflection of you, of your success, of what you can achieve, of of what you're uh, letting in. It's true. The, uh, in in just this past week, just from a few posts, and, and, and when I respond to a person's post, it's because I genuinely have something to say, I feel connected to the conversation and I'm not really thinking about what I'm writing even. I just let that come through me and boom, I get random people reaching out to me, PM, hey, can you do the, hey, can you? And so by providing value, by actually helping people and by showing up in an authentic way and even a vulnerable way, admitting things that, you know, kind of prove the point that, you know, but I have to be vulnerable enough in order to do this. So be real. That's what, uh, that's what gets people. That's what impacts them. And that's just called real life. You know, it's like, if we're out there having yeah. a conversation, you know, we want to, we want to have a conversation where we're present with each other, yeah. where there's a rapport and exchange of energy. Yeah. And it's that exchange of energy uh, that it pays you in ways that we oftentimes can never fathom because it comes out of nowhere. Nowhere. Yeah. And it comes back tenfold, you know, they always, this is one thing too. Like, it was funny because this this happened to me the other day, like literally like right over here, there's like the highway and there's like a spot right on the corner. And there's always um, four guys that stand at each thing and they walk with their cup and and they want change. Right. So um, I'm a very spiritual person, not, not religious, but like, I have nothing against religion. I have nothing against anything like that. Um, But, but like, I believe in positive energy and stuff like that. Right. And, and I can tell you this, that, the other day, there was a guy that came to my window and I, and I give him change like a, a quite a bit. And, I, and, and for some reason, I said no that day. I was just like, no, I was like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm um, whatever. I keep driving. We keep going. And then we pull in at the dollar store. OK, like there's a dollar ammo here. So we pull in mm. there. This guy comes out of nowhere and he's like, excuse me, sir. Like, can you give me can you give me a little bit of change? Like I'm starving or whatever. And I gave him I gave him uh, five dollars. Okay. I had said no to the first one, but then it happened again. So I was like, maybe this is a, a sign from my angels or from, you know, like from, from that energy telling me like, you know, like it's, it's a test. Right. So I gave him $5. I get back home. I had a $500 sale. Mm-hmm. I didn't talk to anybody. Didn't do anything. It just came in. So, you know, it comes back tenfold when you give, you know, don't, don't give something expecting something. Cause I wasn't expecting anything in return at all. I just, I was just like, look, like this is the second person. All right, I'm going to give him something. Maybe there's a reason that this is, this is happening. You know, everything happens for a reason. And it's like, like I said, I come home and it's just like, bang, I look at my thing and I had a, a $500 sale USD, which I'm Canadian. So it's like close to 700 bucks. I was like, you know. And, and that's the way the universe works, whatever you want to call it. 
it well, is but it comes back to you you know we live in a in a in a in an in a energetic existence where it is all about energy and all about the exchange of energy we're constantly affected and feeling affected yep. instantaneously simultaneously no beginning no end we're no. always becoming and it's where we put that energy that the energy that we put out can come back now that catch 22 that you mentioned what do you mean i can't give with the intention of getting something back of course i want something back but that's the thing when you genuinely give and yeah. you're just doing it just you're doing do it. it for because it feels right yeah because there's a resonance yep but then you let it go it's not about it's not about that it's not about that it's nope. about the natural exchange of universal energies. Yep. And when we understand that and we live in that and we surf that and we uh, uh, coexist within that, yep. magical things happen. And I, and I love the word magic because I, it, it's what it always feels like to me. Magic. It, it is. It is magic because it's just like, you know, like when, when you can go from thinking a certain way to doing things that you're expecting something in return. And I, and I say this to like my friends, like there was actually some of my actual friends, like my day ones, like when I was growing up that I, I literally had to push them aside because like everything, their ego, they can't drop their ego. It's like, okay, I'm a better person. I'm this, I'm that, I'm this. Just because I make more money or because of whatever, like I make more money because I give more than I make. Okay, like I, I, I literally put everything out there. I just keep giving and giving and giving and I give my time and, and, and I do everything that I can to help as many people as I can, not expecting anything in return at all, ever. I don't, they're like, how can I ever repay you? Share this knowledge that I gave you with somebody else that needs it. That, that's how you can, that's how you can repay me. You know what I mean? Like that, that's how it repays me. And I'm telling you, like it, it works fantastic. Like once I, once I actually channeled into that, um, it, well, I mean, it's, it's, it changed my life. Mm. Like, you, my life. you have the eye of the tiger you have this infectious energy you have a, a, a genuine passion for it and that's just not something that you can teach people it, it makes me sad <clears throat> when it says oh you know, i want to make the money but you know i don't really enjoy it when you see somebody really enjoying it and enjoying it to the point where you're taking time out of your day to research something for somebody because you want to help because you have that genuine desire that's that's rare it's a rare quality and it's a quality that comes from what i consider to be abundance abundant mindset a prosperity consciousness where you're not stuck in that scarcity consciousness because if you're stuck in scarcity you live off there you won't give that five dollars to that person that you're inspired to give and the universe can't be giving back exactly. that exchange of energy Yep. And it's all happening behind the scenes. We don't need to control it. And then this is what's beautiful. It's also what I think frustrates extremely intellectual people yep. is I want to control this. I want to, I want to know exactly how it works and I want to master it. I want to systemize it. I want to teach other people how to do it and make a lot more money. And you can, when, when, when it, that's, it, that, that, that's not it. It's being able to put this money where you want to see more of in the world and it's doing that freely and because it feels good because it and and honestly dan i mean that's why we do anything is because of the way it makes us feel exactly. but when we're tapped and tuned into something what we're feeling is constantly expansive exponentially expansive and that's where so much of our manifesting and our abundance comes from so I'm, let's say day one, let's say I, I know somebody who just lost their job, who has a lot of financial responsibility. I know a lot of copywriters in the feast and famine cycle. I know personal friends that could benefit from being able to do what you do. Now, we just talked about the authenticity factor. They can't be you, no. but what are some basic fundamental things that you did that are duplicatable? So honestly, like this is, uh, it's funny how you say this because like, I actually have a guy that's in the same program. Uh, he didn't jump in under me or anything like that. Like I, I didn't sell him anything. He just reached out to see what I was doing. And he's like, I want to get the same results. I'm like, well, first of all, you can't get the same results. I can't, you can't, you can't do that. 
you can get more, you can get less, you can't, chances are you're not going to get that. He's like, so how do you close a sale or how do you, and he's like, I'm like, okay. I'm like, you want to know? I said, sell me, sell me the course. Like right now, sell me the course. So he goes off and he's following a script. I'm like, it's okay. If you're, if you're an introvert and you're scared or whatever, you're not, you're not used to it or whatever, like that you have to like, even practice in the mirror, talking to yourself, if you have to. Um, but the whole, the whole scripting it's, I, I don't, I don't, I don't like doing that. Um, I, just be, just be you, just be genuine. You know, like it's the same thing, like with my YouTube, I did the same thing with my YouTube. Like I was trying to, at the start, I was trying to like call, not really copy, but like kind of model what other people were doing. And it's mm-hmm. like, Hey guys, like, you know I mean? Trying to do the same thing. And I was just like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going to be me like straight up. Fuck this. I'm going to be me. I'm going to be straight up. Like, I swear I, I, I'm not perfect. I'm just a genuine dude. Uh, like fuck my second fucking language. You know what I mean? Like I, I love swearing because I'm French. Safe space. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, okay. You know what I mean? It's just like that. That's just me. It's like, I, I, yep. um, I, I can't be something that I'm not, and I'm not going to sit here and tell anybody that I'm a guru that I'm anything because I'm not, I'm just a genuine guy that literally took action on, on they gave me something and 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 i what they tell you that like how it works they say do this like step by and it's literally step by step like it, it can't be any more easy than than if you can do a paint by numbers you can do this you know what i mean like if you know how to like literally like any and this works for any business like that's the thing like they tell you do this 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 and just do it but do it in your own way like just be you. like don't don't be like when you're talking to somebody don't be I find you're nervous. And this is one thing, like I kept doing that when I first started this, like that's why I kept failing and failing and failing and failing. When I was on the phone talking to real estate agents, trying to, trying to get them to do ads and stuff. Like I was fucking reading a script and I was just like, like, this doesn't work. You know what I mean? No, it does not. When I started talking to them, like I was talking to my friends, I pictured my friend sitting on the other phone. Like, like if it was, if it was him on the other side of the line and I was just selling it to him, you know what I mean? Like that. So what you just said, first of all, is why I responded to you. Second of all, is the secret to everything. Talk the way you talk to everybody. Yep. You know, like, oh, what's the, you know, like, I, I used to be a, 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 a ladies man, right? <laughs> what's, what, Mark, what's the secret for meeting all these hot women? Oh, I just talk to them like the crazy motherfucker that I am. And guess what? We actually develop chemistry. Yes. Because I'm not pretending to be somebody that I'm not and afraid that I'm going to get caught. Yeah. That's stupid. There, uh, in, in professional wrestling, it was my first writing job. I love it. I've been involved as a kid. i uh, watched it since I was a kid. Uh, the professional wrestler Stone Cold Steve Austin. You must have heard of him. Oh, yeah, dude. I used to watch that with my grandfather. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Now, Steve Williams, the man behind Steve Austin, is Steve Austin, Stone Cold. But yeah. it's the volume turned up. Yeah. So we're not trying to be, we're not swiping, like copywriters are, I'm going to swipe this, this works. I'm going to swipe that, this works. And why didn't it work for me? Okay, that's a different conversation. But when you are you, and the authenticity factor is turned up, and you talk to people the way that you talk to people dynamically yeah. not following a script because conversation is dynamic yeah what are your three main pain points no you can't approach things in a black and white intellectual head-on way because we are emotional beings we are dynamic beings and we want to be seen and connected with as we are it's the difference between the gold and platinum rule gold rule treat people the way you want to yeah. be treated platinum yeah. rule treat people the way they want to be treated Yep. And, and that means that there needs to be resonance, right? Yeah. If yeah. you show up as you are, you're treating people, you know, in your authenticity as, 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 as a positive as way as you can, based on whatever story you're telling, there's either resonant resonance or they're not, that's where money's made. Yeah. And, and understanding that, understanding that it's putting yourself out there and even the way that you demonstrate it, like in talking about those posts, yeah. put out there. You're constantly demonstrating your authenticity factor, what makes you uniquely you. And I really wish more people could get that. I want to be like Mark Machete. No, you don't. I want to be like Stone Cold. No, you don't. Stone yeah. Cold didn't want to be the next Hulk Hogan. He wanted to be the first Stone Cold. That's right. And that's what we're here to do. 
So keep going. Sorry, I interrupted. I think it's like Napoleon. I think it's Napoleon that said it. It's like a good artist copy, great artist steal. If you know what that yeah. means. You know what I mean? Like do exactly what they're doing. Just do it better. You know what I mean? And, and make it to yourself. Like and that, that's that's one of the mold main things. Mold it to yourself. Like you, you could take a concept of something, but mold it to yourself and, yeah. and just make it better. Exactly. Yeah. And, and another thing that I don't, um, I used to like always hear the whole fake it till you make it. Don't do that. People can't do that. Like, don't fake it till you make it. If you go look at my profile, when I post something, like, literally, like, I'll post a picture of me with a Lamborghini, like, you know what I mean? Like, stuff like that. I don't fucking own a Lamborghini. And when somebody says, is that your car? I'm not like, oh, yes, it's my car. No, it's not my car. You know what I mean? I, I was at a mastermind, and this is, you know what I mean? I just took a picture next to the car. But it's, I'm not doing that to, to show people that I'm, I'm fake. I'm doing that because it's like, what you put in front of you you can manifest. You can literally manifest that shit in your brain. If you see it all the time, you, it's it's gonna happen. I'm gonna own a Lamborghini. I'm gonna own a private jet. I'm gonna, you know what I mean? Like it's gonna happen because I I literally look at this stuff all the time because that's what I want. You know what I mean? Like that's literally what I want. We're always manifesting. You have to. And you're always becoming where your attention is right now. Yep. Not what you're intending for, where your attention is. So if you keep your attention rich in the things you want, shit happens. Magic. It's true. It's funny, but it, it's so true. Like people are just like, how, how do you like, how do you get sales? How do you do this? How do you do that? Like, honestly, just be yourself. Like, you know, and it's funny because like, there's a few students that I have that I actually told them like in the last week, like I, I, I don't usually like to jump on calls with people just because I, it's, I, I do, if I can, if I see, I make them prove to me first that they're worth it. You know what I mean? And what I mean by that is that I don't want to help somebody that's not going to help themselves. You know what I mean? Like I, I did jump on calls with people. I spent like two and a half hours one time with this person. Right. And literally like they still haven't changed anything about their profile or anything. And then they come back and they say, it doesn't work. Hmm. Dude, you didn't even take two seconds of your time to change a simple little thing that I literally, I, I, I literally made a whole roadmap for you. Like I, I, I paved the whole fucking way for you. And then, you come back to me and tell me it doesn't work. You didn't even do anything. You didn't even change anything. So it's like, that's why like I, I make people now, like when they come to me, like I, I, I make sure that they, I don't jump on a car right away. You know what I mean? Unless they want to pay me for my time. Um, I'm, I'm totally okay with that. But it's just like, when it comes to, um, I go look for people that actually, I can see that they've been, they've been putting in effort and stuff like that. Right. Cause it's like, you can, you can look at that on, on a profile. When you see people putting posts and you can just go, go, go feel them out. You know what I mean? Like yep. I, I feel the I energy feel them out and, and see what, like what I'm getting from their post and what I'm getting from this. And if they're, if they're trying to give value and they're trying to do these things and, and an, a quick tip is people need to know that do not post, do not post a post and drop a link on the post right away. Wait at least two hours. You know what I mean? Make the post, go back in two hours later, edit the post, then drop your link. Because it doesn't screw the algorithm on Facebook. I don't know. Brilliant. If you know. I, I, know. I did. I didn't. <laughs> okay. Well, that, that's, that's another quick tip there. <laughs> a little hack that we, uh, we kind of figured out with the algorithm with Facebook on, on how that works. And that's like, I mean, if you go look at some of my posts, like you can see that there's a few of them that I dropped a link in it. And it's like, I still have like a hundred, a hundred reach. And it's like, people are like, how the hell are you doing that? Well, it's because once you, you have to wait at least two hours, like an hour and a half to two hours. I always say push more towards the two hours and then like it, it keeps the algorithm going and don't do more than two posts, um, two posts a day, maybe three max. Mm -hmm. Because the more posts you post on Facebook, it's not like Instagram. Instagram, you can fucking bombard the shit out of it uh, continuously. Like they want you to do that to get more engagement. But on Facebook, it's totally opposite. The more posts you make, the smaller your engagement goes and it keeps your engagement shitty because they don't want you to, and, and that's one of the reasons they don't want you to be able to, so when you put a link, they want you to pay, right? They want you to, Mark Zuckerberg, I call him, wants you to pay for, for, for ads, okay? He wants you, he's not a billionaire for no fucking reason because he's not, you know, charging people out the ass on, here, your post is getting a little bit more reach, boost it for 20 bucks. Mm. It, it's all bullshit, you know what I mean? I, I've made more money, I've spent so much money on ads that I lost, I didn't make anything like I didn't make anything, not even close to nothing compared to organic, actually organic reach. And, and, and that's interesting because these days, most people are saying the opposite that organic is like become 
an impossible nut to crack and here you are you busted that nut yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious busted that nut. but but it's it's, it's funny because it's, it's like it's so true it's like i go in groups all the time and, and it's like they're, they're all having like man like are you guys having issues with ads are you guys when i say that i made a thousand dollar day i made a thousand dollar day it's a thousand dollars profit i didn't spend six hundred dollars on ads to make four hundred dollars you know what I mean? And that's not to brag. That's just to show people that what you guys are capable, anybody's capable of doing this. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't, I'm not a fucking, uh, a super, what I, I started doing affiliate marketing. I opened my ClickBank account on January 23rd of 2020. That's a, that's just amazing. The, uh, the, so one of the things, as I'm just listening to you, one of the things that people often think, especially I see this in my own students, I've seen it in myself. You think you're taking who you are right now with you, but when you grow and you actually let go of shit and you start telling a new story, yep. that person is not the same person who started the journey. And those are the experiences that we get to go through when we get all of our limiting beliefs. Yep. Uh, they're, they're, we're going toe to toe with all of our limiting beliefs. We have to acknowledge that shit for it to dissolve we yep. can't we have to keep moving forward and that's yep. uncomfortable that's why you know, i love the the old adage the comfort zones are the kiss of death and they really are if you want what you say you want be excited about being uncomfortable exactly and stop I, I, holding on to who you think you are because it's usually a bunch of bullshit yeah it's true though it's like don't let fear take, don't let fear, you know what I mean? Like the best thing you can do when it comes to affiliate marketing with your Facebook profile, make a new Facebook profile and don't add zero friends or family at all. Don't have your friends or family on your profile at all. If you want to be successful and you want to get somewhere with this, engage with people that you don't even know. You know what I mean? Because then they're going to engage with your page. I literally had to go and, and, I, and I was adding people like from before, um, that were they, they, my family just kept adding me like my family friends people and I went back in and I literally deleted all of them and I, and I and I made a post about it and I said look like no hard feelings but fuck your feelings because it's like <laughs> this is this no but like literally like this it's like I don't use Facebook to chitter chatter you know what I mean like I'm not using this for fun I'm not using it I'm, I take my business seriously and like I want to help people that want to help themselves and my family and friends um the ones that do support me fully that engage on my post and that are always, I see them all the time, bang, 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 like engaging and, and commenting and all that stuff. Um, they're, they're still there, but the ones that ain't, there's a reason they're not. And it's like, you know, I'm sorry if, if it hurts your feelings, but like, you know, when it comes to my bread and my survival over having you drop stupid memes or tag me in some stuff that has nothing to do or politics or shit like that. Like don't, don't, don't bring me the first thing with business is never do anything with politics and religion. And it's like, when, when you're, when you're tagging me on some stuff on from your profile onto my profile about uh, like Donald Trump and all these things, it's like, I have my own opinions on that, which I'm not going to share, but it's just like, don't bring me in that shit. And, 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 and I literally had to like take some of my friends off and my family because of that. It's mm -hmm. just like, you know, and, and like I said, like, fuck their feelings because it's it's not to be a prick. I still love them, but it's just like when you start affecting my life, that's an issue. You know what I mean? Like that, 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 that's a big fucking issue. And if, and if you guys are too worried about what your friends and family are saying, well, this is not for you in the first place. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Like, the, don't uh, waste your time trying to do something. If, if you're too worried about the fear of or the judgmental, you have to step out of your comfort zone. Do you know how many Absolutely. people told me that I was going to fail? All of them. They all said, you're never going to do nothing. You're never going to accomplish anything with your life. This is just another bullshit thing that you found online that's not going to work. It's just a scam. It's this, it's that. When they started seeing the numbers, they were like, you know, they, they shut the fuck up and they came back to me and they're just like, yo, like, man, like, it, it's, it's kind of it's kind of nice to know somebody that kind of made it. Well, you know what? Um, where were you when, when I was actually talking about this? You weren't there. So you might know somebody, but this somebody doesn't know you anymore like that. You know what I mean? And it's, it's not to be a prick, but it's like, you didn't trust me. You didn't trust the process. You didn't believe in me when it was, when I was going through the, the fucking struggle. And now that I'm, that it's, you know I mean? Now that it's doing something, well, now you're trying to suck my ass. 
يعني... and when people when people see you a certain way, we can let it make us be that way. Exactly. And in fact, it's uncomfortable for us to be a different way around people who are used to seeing us a certain way. Hang yeah. out with five, hang out with five broke people, and you will be the sixth broke person. Yep. Facts. So, hang out with five rich people, you'll be the sixth rich person. You know. What do you say to people though who I don't know what it means to be me? Uh, do will people like me? Uh, you know, like w- w- that insecurity. What do you what What do you say to that? Try it. Like, okay, so I was worried. Honestly, this is this is funny because it's like I was worried, and I don't know why I was like literally I, cause just because of what people were saying, right? And some of my friends were saying this. So it's like, like I said, my girlfriend's older than me. Um, like she's she's mature. She's she's you know, there's 30 years between us, and it's like I was kind of like not second guessing myself because I'm not ashamed of being with her or anything like that. You know what I mean? Like we've been together for like four and a half years, five going on five years now. And, and I love her more than anything. But when it came to putting that on my Facebook in front of my audience, I was like, how are they going to look at me? You know what I mean? And you know what? I said, fuck it. I said, I don't give a shit what these people say. I'm, I'm going all in with this. And if they can't accept me for who I am completely, they shouldn't be on my page in the first place. So bam, I dropped the post, shared it with everybody. And I'm at like, I'm over 200 and something likes and like 300 comments. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, like that. So I was it's just It's interesting like, what happens when you put your authentic self out there, isn't it? And everybody was supporting it. Like every, everybody was just like, like, we love you even more now that you literally told us this. And, 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 I, and I challenged them. I did challenge them. I was like, you know, I challenge you guys to share something about you guys that nobody knows about. And, and there's a few of them, they're in the same position. Like- <laughs> Their, their wife, them and their wife, like he's a young, one of them, he's a younger guy. His, his, his wife is uh, like 20 or 25 years uh, de- like older, same thing. And then a girl, she's younger and her man is 30 years older. And it's, you know what I mean? Like th- there, there was a few other ones that started coming out of the woodworks. It's like, it's okay if you're a mature woman and you're, and you're dating, it, it doesn't mean that it's a sugar mama. Like that, that's not, yeah. that's not, the, I mean, that's, I don't want people thinking that that's what it is because it's like, oh, he's making money or he has money because of her. That's not the case at all. I literally, I, I treat her like a queen. You know what I mean? Like what, what she wants, she gets. And it's like, I, I make sure I gave, I promised her that I would give her a life that she's never seen ever, ever, like ever, 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 that she's never, ever had that. She was married for 43 years. You know what I mean? Like before and like her late husband passed away. God bless. You know what I mean? Like, Thank God for him, because if, if, you know, if it wouldn't be for him, like, I wouldn't have the wonderful woman that I have now, you know, like, that's a, that's, that's one of the big things, you got to have the right people in your circle, and like, she was doubting it at the start, she wasn't doubting me, she was doubting that it was going to work, just like anybody else when it comes to online, you know what I mean, it's sure. like, it, it's scams, or it's this, or it's that, and I was like, if you don't trust that, trust me. You know what I mean? If you, if you put your trust in me and you believe in me, I'll make it happen. Like I will make it happen. And when she did, she let, she let her guard down about the whole internet thing. And when she's like, she was pinching my face. Like, is this for real, Dan? Like, is, is, this, real? Like, like, is this really happening? And I'm like, uh, yeah, like look at her bank account. Look, look, look at, look at the people that I'm helping. Look at the, you know, like this all shows. And, and when I say about the bank account, I'm not talking about that to brag about money because I'm not bragging about money. I'm just saying, I've helped so many people in a short amount of time and by helping them, it's not even like them that bought anything from me. That's not even the case. It's like some of these people had already purchased it and I still took some of my time. And then literally I get sales from out of the woodworks. I don't, I didn't even talk to somebody and it's just like, bang, I get a sale. Like yesterday. But you have what I, you have what I call the cosmic CPA. Yeah. It's a zero Z CPA financially out of pocket. Yeah. But it is that exchange of energy. When you put out that energy, yep. you keep putting out that energy, and that things. energy. Oh my God, the momentum coming back. Yep. And they you just forget. Say, you forget about that because of all that. Yep. They used to always say small increments, you know, like take, take, take massive action. But like, if you take small, 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 it's eventually, I don't do that. Like, I, I don't feel that there's a limit on that. Like, I'm not going to help 10 people today. I'm going to help a hundred. If I can help a hundred people and I don't make a sale, it doesn't bother me because tomorrow I know that I'll make some sales. It, it'll just happen. Cause I help these hundreds of people. You know what I mean? Like I'm literally just trying to help as many people as I can. That, that's, that's, I want to be the person that jumps on stage and that literally 
is just changing people's lives. Like that, that's the whole purpose. I don't give a fuck about the money. The money don't mean nothing to me. It, it's, it's being able to, to change people's lives. And, and it, honestly, it, it has a lot to do with my past. Um, like I, I have a very dark past and I, and I did a lot of things that I shouldn't have done and stuff like that. Just like anybody else, everybody has their story like that, but it's like, this is my way of making up for all the bad energy that I put out in the world before. You know what I mean? Like when I was younger, like when I didn't know the difference between, you know, I didn't have the proper mindset. I didn't have anybody to teach me. Um, you should be doing this or you should be, you know what I mean? Like I, I was literally hey, living on my own since I was 14. We, so. we have to go through our origin story. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 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 You know what I mean? So it's like, and, and I did a lot of bad things that, that I, you know, not that I didn't, I forgave myself for it. Um, I kind of shut a lot of people out of my life too. Like people that actually cared about me. And then it's like, now they're all coming back out. And like, like my, my father, for example, like my actual biological father, like, we, we barely talked forever. You know what I mean? And it's like, this year is like the first time that I actually heard him tell me that he loved me. And it was like the most fucking amazing thing to hear because he's so proud of what I'm doing and how I literally went, like did a whole complete fucking like 180 or whatever. Like I was like a piece of shit to, to and, and literally like, this is exactly what it was. I was like, I was pretty much a piece of shit to a lot of people just being fucking my ego. Again, ego was way out the roof thinking I was better than everybody and all this stuff. And like when I started uh, meditating and started like just pushed everything out of my life, I just, I had enough, like enough is enough. And like, this is not working. I've been doing this for like 20 years. It's, it's not working. I, I've made a bunch of money. It's all gone, all this stuff. Um, and, I, and, I, and I hurt fam, like, you know what I mean? People like that, like, you know, like I was in the drugs and stuff like that. So it, you know, when, when, you, when you start, you start thinking about it when you get older, it's like, fuck man, like, you know, like, I know I was on the drugs and I wasn't in the right position and all this stuff at, the, at that time. But it's like, now I've been clean for quite a while now. And like, uh, I just focused all my time on my, on finding myself. So like mainly like meditation, like, uh, manifestation magic. Um, I listen to that every night before, when I go to bed, I put that shit on and, and I, like, literally it changes my mindset. Like, so every time yep. I actually look Binaural up, beats. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, I actually looked that stuff up uh, about you and I was just like, fuck, man, like this is, there's a sign that you, that we connected because of this whole manifestation. And then I seen like y y what you were doing. And I was just like, man, like, I like this guy. I was like, I can't wait for this fucking. Yeah, thing. this is, this is how we live our lives. Yeah. And, th and, and, and what you're describing, that's the work that gets us paid. Yeah. But again, it's being fully immersed and even lost in that work. You know, where you're, you're so focused on Laser, just like tunnel vision. Moving, tunnel. moving forward and acknowledging, experiencing contrast, using that to pivot and experience heightened desire and keep acknowledging that, you know, it's like everything that we feel in here yeah. is creating out there. It it's is. not the other way around. And yet, oh shit, this is happening to me. Oh, but this is the story you're telling that's making it animate like that. Yeah. And when you take responsibility like you have and, and to slow down your thoughts, choose the ones, be deliberate with the thoughts that you're empowering with your intention and, and choo choosing how you show up. And I think one of uh, uh, the kind of the hidden gem that, uh, uh, that was for me extremely powerful, and I think it's powerful for pretty much anybody on this planet, is stop fucking hiding. You don't need to hide. There's nothing to hide. And when you put yourself out there authentically, <laughs> that's when the magic happens. When I stopped lying about my own story, that's when shit actually happened. But I was ashamed of my story. I was like, there's no way anybody's gonna take me seriously. I have to have this facade, otherwise there's no place for me on this planet. No. It's, and it's, it doesn't feel good, does it? No, it doesn't, it doesn't, man. That's why you keep failing, like, I, okay. I went from making, right? I went from making like seven thousand, eight thousand dollar day, it, it seven to eight thousand dollar days as a drug dealer, like years ago, right? Like years ago. Okay, so I was making like I was like self made by the time I was sixteen. I lost everything. Okay, I literally lost everything. So all that bullshit, and, and I kept doing it over and over and over. It's like, oh well, I did it again, so I can do it again. You know what I mean? 
And it's when I, I, I when I when I hit my 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 point there, I was just like, enough is enough. Okay, like I I, I stopped doing drugs. I I moved away. Um, I literally left where I was. I moved away to get away from from everybody and all that because I was very well known up with with all that stuff. Um, and I moved away and I was just like, look, like I need to fucking literally just, I blocked everybody, everything just out of my life. And I just went and worked a nine to five job, uh, went to school to become a barber. I'm actually a barber, licensed barber. Um, so like I did that just to revamp myself and refine myself. You know what I mean? Like literally just, just gave up everybody and everything except for my girl. And, and we went away. And then it's like, when I completely was ready that it, it took me time. I didn't go to detox. I didn't do anything like that. I did it myself. I just stopped everything. Like I was addicted to drugs. I stopped everything myself. Like there was no detox, no fucking counseling and all that bullshit because they, they keep programming in your brain that, yeah, you have a problem. It's okay. You have a problem. They keep slapping excuses in your fucking face and, and, and making you feel like you, you're, you're an outcast. Like, mm. fuck you. I'm not a fucking outcast. They used to tell me, like, I have a learning disability. You have ADHD. You have ADD. You have blah, 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 blah. It's like, okay, maybe it's because my brain thinks super fast and it analyzes shit super fast. But my whole life, you guys literally blacklisted me as somebody that has this. Go fuck yourself. Now I'm channeling into this energy. And it's like I I'm manifesting like fucking crazy everything because I don't listen to all this bullshit of doctors and all these things of what they're saying. Like they program you to, to do these things. And it's like anybody that's listening to this, if you guys have kids, teach your kids the right things from the get go, because from when they're born to the age of like seven, that's when it matters. So like, if you, you want your kids to do something with their life, like teach them something to do with their life and don't teach them the whole working the nine to five job because you, you guys want to talk about pyramid schemes? That is the biggest pyramid scheme. <laughs> you know what yes. I mean? It, it literally is. It's like that, the, the, that, that is the hands down. Same thing with schools. When you go to school, like you get in debt to go to school. They, they teach you when you grow up. It's like, you have to go to school. You have to get straight A's. You have to do this. You have to work a job so that you can get it on a scholarship or you can do this and you can have your full ride so that we don't have to pay for you to go to school. And then you go to school for like seven, eight years to become a lawyer, a dentist, or whatever the fuck you want to be. And then you come out of school like a hundred and something thousand dollars in debt if you weren't lucky enough to get a scholarship. And most of the time, even when you're just trying to get a job, you don't even make it. They tell you you're going to make this amount of money. If you're making $70,000 a year, you're broke. Okay. You're considered, you're considered a broke person. Yep. Like really, you know what I mean? Like you, like you guys think that a hundred thousand dollars a year is, is, oh, I can, I can, I can get these fancy cars. I can drive a Mercedes. I can get a big mansion. I can get a boat. I can get all these fucking things. No, all you're doing is literally putting a shit ton of liabilities on you. And that's why by the time you're 40 years old, your wife ends up leaving you. You guys get divorced. You lose half of your shit. You fucking, you know what I mean? Like everything crashes because you're taught from a child that all these things is what makes you, but it's all liabilities. Build assets. Don't build liabilities. I'm not driving a Lamborghini. I'm not living in, in, a, in a fucking $10 million mansion. I'm not doing all these things, but I'm comfortable. You know what I mean? I don't need all these fancy things. I don't need Gucci. I don't need like, you know, people, people look at that as success. You know, it's like people look so, like, even some of my friends are like, oh, yeah, like you're very successful now. What do you consider successful? You know what I mean? And they're like, well, you have this, you have that, you have this, you have that, you have. That doesn't mean anything. That, 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 that can literally just go away tomorrow. You know what I mean? It's, it's like, what's all this stuff going to mean to you? It's the people that I helped. That's what means to that. That's what, what, like, you know, they always say about your network or whatever, like the whole thing about like, whatever you, it doesn't matter. Like you look at like Bill Gates and all these people like that have a shit ton of money. How many people did they help? You know what I mean? Like if they would have no money, who would still be there supporting them? Yep. You know what uh, I mean? Well, yeah, it, 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 that's, I mean, what you're talking about, again, is a true energetic currency. And yeah. it's the currency that we all need to be tapped into because when we just try to work, 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 effort, 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 we deplete. And it, especially when we're coming, you know, as a fourth grade dropout, I didn't have any of those safety nets. So I had to create my reality. Yeah. But it was the best thing in the fucking world. And well, even though I went through a ton of hardship, we all have our story. Yeah. I, 
you know, I, I, I live a life of freedom. And for me, you know, like you talk about clothes, I mean, these, these pants are, you know, 15 some odd years old. This shirt is just a, you know, little shirt that I got at a stand, you know. Yeah, Value it, it's, Village. It's, Value Village. It was like a $1.99. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I got these at fucking Walmart. Like, yeah. I, I still wear, like, it doesn't matter. I don't, I don't. I, I've had students tell me, you know, Mark, why don't you dress fancy? I've had friends say, Mark, buy fancy cars. You need to look the part. You know what I need to do? I need to be me. That's right. Uh, yeah. Thanks for thanks for telling me how to be me. Because yeah. at the end, you know, and then it's just like, are, are you happy trying to tell me what to do? I mean, what what is that about? So uh, I got to I got to get going. Uh, I got to get on a call. This I mean, we can go. We can go on forever. But I want you to tell people how they could reach out and get involved. Um, yeah, so if you guys want to hit me up on Facebook, I'm Dan Como. Uh, I mean, you can see, I don't know if Como. you can, yeah, Como. <laughs> a lot of people say Como, Como. but no, Dan Como. Um, you guys can hit me up there. You can send me a message. I'll answer you guys. Um, if not, just look in the link in my, like, the, there's a couple links on my um, my intro, uh, underneath my intro. Um, that's the stuff that I, that I work with. Um, if you guys are looking to be serious about it, I have a mastermind. It's $1,000 to jump in. You got to remember if you invest a hundred dollars or you invest a thousand dollars, the thousand dollars, you're actually going to take action because you don't want to waste that thousand dollars when you compare it to the hundred dollars. You know what I mean? Like that's one of the things um, you can follow me on Instagram at Como C O M E A U Daniel. Um, that's another place you can hit me up. Uh, and then I have a link also in my intro for my YouTube that you guys can check out and subscribe to my channel if you want, because I'm going to be putting out more content on that too. So yeah manifesting like a pimp dan como pimp. holy shit Hot I, I am so happy to uh have met you and to you know i mean this is our first conversation yeah. you know looking yeah. at each other and it just goes to show the power of manifestation the power of the internet we bring what we need into our lives to co-create yeah. even bigger abundance for everybody so let's co-create co-create yeah. that together anyway I appreciate it. And let's keep the conversation going. I yeah, we suspect sure. we're going to be talking a lot more. Oh, yeah, for sure. Make sure you send me um, this video. If you can just send it to me somehow so that I can post it on my on my social yep. media. Yep, will do. Perfect. All right, brother. We'll talk right, soon. Good. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Later on. You okay. too. Bye. Ciao, man. Ciao, man.